All right, and welcome back to the fourth and final video for our Excel uh, Chapter 5 dealing with subtotals and uh, pivot tables and pivot charts. Uh, in this last section, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at some data modeling, and then we're going to look at pivot charts. Uh, so before we get into uh, the data modeling and pivot charts portion, I would want to uh, talk a little about what a data model is. So a data model is defined as a collection of related tables that contains structured data uh, used to create uh, a database. So um, in the previous videos, we looked at creating a pivot table from, uh, from a worksheet. Uh, in this particular um, module here, we're going to look at creating pivot tables uh, from actual Excel tables. And we're going to focus on Excel tables that appear, multiple Excel tables that appear in different worksheets. So again, it just kind of shows you the robust nature of pivot tables and in what environments uh, they can be um, they can be used uh, given the different data types, different data set, sets, and formats. So again, data model being a collection of related tables. If any of you have worked with a database before, it's kind of a very similar uh, concept here in the sense that you have information in one table, you have information in another table, they share one or two fields between those two tables uh, that can help make that information together useful. Uh, so what we're looking at here is, is a relationship between the two tables. And again, relationship is defined as an association or a connection between two tables where both tables contain a common field or fields of data. And uh, just to kind of draw some sort of similarity uh, from what we've used before, think of it as how we use the VLOOKUP table uh, in one of our previous sections where we had information in one table and we were using a piece of that information to look up into another table. So again, that's kind of in a, in a sense of migration of where we're going with these, um, how we can use different data uh, with pivot tables, pivot charts, and such. So in order to start, you have to actually create a data model, which basically means you have to have some information set up in an Excel table, um, two Excel tables at least uh, to go ahead and create a relationship. So we'll look at that um, we'll look at that here in a moment uh, with our with our worksheet that we have set up. Um, and then uh, we're going to look at how to create a pivot table from the, from that related information. Uh, and then finally we're going to look at again just a, a brief interview of, of a pivot chart. Um, so let's go ahead and move over to our Excel worksheet. And we're actually going to be working with uh, a separate worksheet that we have in the previous three models, uh, just so we have data that's set up. So in this particular uh, worksheet, a workbook here, we have three worksheets. Uh, these are related to what look to be something you would see in a restaurant sales um, over the course of an entire year. So you have a date, weekday, and those are indic indicative of first through the seventh day of the week, Sunday through Saturday. Uh, lunch and dinner amounts and how much was uh, was generated in terms of revenue. We have a weekday set up again, weekday one through seven, indicated as Sunday through Saturday, and this is where again uh, we draw that kind of that, that likening and that similarity in the VLOOKUP table. Uh, and then just for um, how we have information here, we have a, a January sales of basically associating the weekday with the date and the only revenue. Um, so what we're going to look at primarily here is the yearly data, and we're going to look at the weekdays. Okay, so we have our date fields, and we have a commonality or a similarity in here with the weekday field and the yearly data, and the weekdays. So we have weekday one, two, three, through seven to correspond with that. So the first thing you need to do is to create a relationship. Uh, in order to do that, you go to the data tab, you select the relationships icon and the data tools. And we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to go ahead and remove that. We're going to recreate. So we're going to create a new relationship here. So our primary data is going to be in the yearly data. So it's going to be in the, the revenue data. So we have our revenue in here in the yearly data. Uh, the related table we're going to use is our days table. Okay. So we're going to look at weekday okay. 
and we're going to make this relationship correlation. Uh, go ahead and close. And what we've done there is we've actually created um, our, our our data relationship uh, in this particular instance. So the next step that we need to do, uh, and, and let me let me emphasize that since we have multiple information here with uh, various tables, you can actually link relationships from one table to multiple other tables depending on that. But for this particular uh, instance here, we're going to just look at two tables to kind of keep it keep it simple. Uh, so we're going to create a pivot table. So we want to click within our primary table, and our primary table here uh, is going to be um, is, is going to be the, the revenue table uh, where we're actually looking at uh, the information uh, in terms of the sales. So you go click the insert tab, and from there. Uh, you're going to click pivot table in the tables group. They give you tables and range. So again, we have our revenues table up here in the name box. We're going to put that in a new worksheet so we can kind of operate off of that. Uh, and then based off of there, you can uh, you can go ahead and you can add your your information in there um, in terms of the the data that you want to to kind of show uh, in your table. So basically from creating a relationship for two Excel tables, we've now created uh, a pivot table uh, and you can essentially use all the various functionality that we've covered in some of the previous um, in some of the previous other uh, modules and then the videos here to kind of slice and dice your information. Uh, so again if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to look at things from a, a more um, more specific nature, you can kind of uh, uh, filter, slice and dice, uh, and, and further um, further drill down into your information. But essentially, the the, the gist of, of this particular uh, section here is to be able to take two Excel data tables with a commonality in uh, information for this particular instance we're looking at days of, of the weekdays. Um, so it's taking that information that exists in both tables, creating a relationship based off of there, and then from there creating a pivot table. Moving on to the next piece that we're going to be covering is, is the pivot charts. Uh, so we've got a pivot table here. Um, what we want to create next is we want to create a pivot chart. We want to give some graphical re representation of the data in our pivot table, much like what we've done in the past with some of our Excel, um, some of our Excel worksheets, and even uh, some of our data tables that we've Excel tables that we've had in there. So again, you click inside the pivot table. Make sure that you click inside the pivot table. You go to insert, and we have a pivot chart here. So we click pivot chart, and we're given. We're given a, again the very similar um, examples of pivot chart or our types of charts that we can create um, based off of our uh, our previous uh, modules, various uh, type of, of charts that we can create. So I'm going to just create a clustered column chart. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to give me uh, my my pivot chart based off of that. Um, you can go ahead and again um, and use the information in here inside this pivot chart to further filter down your data. So if you just want to look at, I just want to look at what we're, how, how did sales look? Uh, I want to scale this down to, to January. Uh, I created a filter for the month of January and now my, my pivot chart as well as my pivot table only now focuses on, on uh, in the month of January. I can go back in here and clear my filter. I get my visual representation back. Um, you know, again, if you just want to look at very specific data in this particular uh, pivot table and pivot chart, um, go ahead and, and work through the various filtering um, and scaling of your, your, your data according to, to what your needs are. And again, these are the two concepts that we're covering here in this last module. Uh, this will take you up to uh, hands-on exercise number four.
which uh, again covers the data modeling and the pivot charts. Um, and I just want to reiterate for this particular assignment, uh, there are going to be actually uh, two files that you're going to upload, uh, E05H3 Sociology and E05H4 Sociology with your last name and first name appended on it. There are going to be four modules or four hands-on um, exercises that are inclusive of uh, Chapter 5's assignment. Uh, so go ahead and work through there. If you have any questions, any comments, need any assistance with anything, uh, go ahead and email me or send me a message through the D2L board, and uh, I'll be happy.